Hello, great viewers. This is your host, Ken Waningu. On the show today, BBN TV West Show, it is our great guests, our friends, a game changer in entrepreneurship, none other than our friend and brother Maina from Azi Azima, Ventures. Azima Ventures. It's a pleasure to have you. You've just spoken to us very great things about how people um, need to be helped and to be mentored, how you have started mentoring people because of a wide experience on your business. To me, that one is the greatest gift you can leave for the people of the world. You are a treasure of the earth to the people of the world. Thank you. I pray that you live long. Thank you. <laughs> I will. Yes, you live long because we really need that kind of heart um, to solve those uh, problems and crises. Um, many people even, they are being offered prayers in the church. Eh? Many people have been given prayers. They, you go back and then think God has not answered. But yeah, God has answered and brought you Mina! <laughs> and Mina is ready to tell us. Thank you. Now, yes, go ahead with what you're telling us. Along the process of uh, trying to find a solution to the problems that we've been facing and people are facing. Yes, sir. God has been very kind to me. Mm -hmm. I came to discover that uh, all of us were sent on planet Earth to solve a problem. Wow, that is true. I discovered my life purpose. Yes. And my life purpose mm -hmm. is around helping people yes. to make the resources with the knowledge that they require uh -huh. to be able to prosper. Wow. So my God is a God of, of, of abundance. Yes, a God of abundance. People normally find because of the scarcity mentality we have hardwired into our mind. Yes. When you see abundance, yes. you work for abundance and you get it. Yes, sure. I have wow. a testimony of that. Wow, amen. Whatever I have worked for, I have always got it. Yes. God has so much in yes. his uh, truth. Yes. So I have been looking at people and seeing how limited they are in their thinking. Wow. And I have decided yes. that just money is not enough. Uh -huh. People need to have the knowledge. Knowledge. And knowledge is inculcated in people in a process. Uh -huh. So what I did is that uh, from Azima mm -hmm. Ventures Capital, yes, Azima. Mm -hmm. I have started a program called Azima Wellness Quadrant. Mm -hmm. Azima Wellness Quadrant, we train people on four areas. Okay. We first look at your mental configuration. Mm -hmm. Because what you think is what you become. Yes. We are what we think. Yeah, what you think is what you become. Yes. When yes. you see scarcity, you always see scarcity. <laughs> People keep on complaining. Instead of working to make life better, yes. they just complain. Yes. It is the way the mind is considered. Yes. We help people to have a mental shift and oh. start looking at opportunities. Mm -hmm. What can I do about it? Mm -hmm. You are doing a very good job. You see, people have been hearing the wrong things about Africa. Yes. We need people like you yes. to start telling the good stories about Africa. Yes. Not just war. Yes. And Poverty. Yes, exactly. A, a picture comes in the media of a a naked baby. Emaciated. Emaciated. We are seen to be that. <laughs> we have some good stories that we need to be told. Yes. What we are doing in uh, West is very really important. Yes. Because it's going Thank you. Make people believe it can be done. Sure. In Azima Wellness Quadrant, mm -hmm. you train people on the mental configuration, mm -hmm. then your health. Your health is your wealth. Oh, really? If you don't take care of your health care, mm -hmm. you will come down. Wow. A healthy mind cannot be hosted in a body full of toxins. Oh, your well, your health yes, is your well. Yes. A healthy mind cannot be hosted in a toxic body. <laughs> you must take care of the body that hosts that mind. Yes. For it to think properly uh -huh. so that you can take action yes. and create money. Wow. And create wealth. Uh -huh. So Kenyans don't know how to relate with money. That's the biggest problem we have. Really? We spend more than what we make. And oh, wow. Instant gratification. Yes, yes. Look at TVs and what we see in TVs is what inform our, exp our spending habits. Yes, okay. That is not right. Mm -hmm. Because those commercials mm -hmm. are attracting you to feed into their factories. Oh, yes. The question yes. you ask yourself, mm -hmm. what are you putting into the marketplace yourself? Yes. If you are putting nothing, mm -hmm. you need to ask yourself, what would be different because you showed up yes. in this part of the world at this time? Yes. God did not send you to be a passenger here. Yeah. 
<laughs> you are sent to make an impact. Yes. Like bringing waste. Yes. If you did come with it, you'd not be here. Yeah, isn't it? It's going to impact so many people. Yeah, God did the, uh, that's an amazing statement. God never brought you on earth to be a passenger. No. You are not a passenger. You are not. You have a purpose to yes. carry. Yes. And you must launch yourself with that purpose and do all what God has enabled you to do. Sure. Because by the way, we were born with a lot of capacity to be able to fulfill what we are sent to do. Yes. You just need to discover it. It does not come automatic. Yes. You invest in yourself. Amen. To discover it. Wow. Once you have it, you're good to go. Yes. Because all what you require to become a celebrity in that yes. area yes. is inside you. <laughs> I've met a great leader today. I am now coaching people. Okay. Take them through the mental, mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. financial. Mm -hmm. Then you see, if these three are not green and not okay, yes. you get emotional turmoil. Oh, okay. So we now have the emotional tranquility okay. once all those areas of the life are in a uh, conference. Yes. So we normally have a 12 weeks program. Mm -hmm. We take people through two hours mm -hmm. per week. Okay. So we go for 12 weeks. Oh. When you are through with that, mm -hmm. we'll be looking at the areas that you want. Either you're in business but you're stuck, you're not yes. growing, we help you to scale up your business. Okay. Or you're in employment and you want to transit from employment to business. Yes. We help you prepare for that transition. Mm -hmm. Or you are, as in any area, you left school, yes. you've not got a job, mm -hmm. and you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. We'll give you options. Those people who have money also, yes. I told you that I'm forming companies, I grow them and I sell them. Yes, yes. If you have money, can you also come and buy a company? Yes. I'm selling. <laughs> I got a company. Thank you, I need one. Yes. <laughs> I have a solution okay. for everyone. Wow. That is fantastic. That's another company. And um, you being a mentor, uh, what are some of the challenges do you think uh, young business people go through? Because you have a wide of experience in a way that um, you have so many companies you've had and you're having. What are the challenges they What is their mental setup that they need to come out? The first thing mm -hmm. that we have a problem with, yes. and that's why our training starts with mental, mm -hmm. is our thinking. Thinking. You cannot grow above your level of thoughts. People come to business mm -hmm. and know what they think is about money. Yes. Business is not about money again. Mm -hmm. It's about service. Wow. If you are mm -hmm. not having growing a business while on giving service, mm -hmm. you go nowhere. Yes. Money follows purpose. Money follows purpose. Money will follow purpose. Sure. And don't pursue success. Mm -hmm. Don't pursue success. Mm -hmm. Attract success. If you do the right things, mm -hmm. you will attract success. Yes. Instead of being tolerated by people in this world, mm -hmm. you'll be celebrated <laughs> because of what you are doing. Yes. And it is all in you. Yes. So I want to tell people who want to go into the business, mm -hmm. they have to have a mental shift yes. from an employee mindset mm -hmm. to a business owner mindset. Mm -hmm. If you own a factory, yes. you think in a different way than when you work in a factory. Mm -hmm. The owner does not sleep when the worker go to sleep. Yes. Because the owner has to think where he's going to get the raw materials. Yes. Where he's going to get the uh, workers. Mm -hmm. Where he's going to get the market. Yes. How he's going to create the how he's going to create a uh, market. Yes. All those things, you think about them day and night. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I can tell you, if you're a less person, in yes. your, in, in your, as a person, mm -hmm. don't come to business. Wow. That's another, very encouraging. Another thing, mm -hmm. you can never succeed alone as an individual. That's a great point. You cannot. Mm -hmm. So we have got an owner mentality mm -hmm. that you want to get hold of the company and hold it to ourselves. Oh. You don't go far. Okay. Look at all the big companies. Yes. They are not individually owned. Yes, yes. Even in told when Zuckerberg wanted to start Facebook, yes. what did he do? He called a group of people. Yes, they discussed. Yes. And even Mr. Anini, uh, the richest man. Warren Buffett. Uh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Yes, Bill Gates. Even when he was in Harvard, yes. he called it his friends. Yes. In the fact, there is no company that has succeeded that is owned by individual. Yes. But we are so hanging on to one. That's why I told you I'm even selling companies. Okay. Because I have no attachment to them. Yes. Once they have done what I set them to do, I'm good. Man. Wow, that's, that's very interesting. Just a quick question. And um, what are you doing on wellness? Anything you are doing? Because uh, Azimi wellness. Uh, Azima wellness. Yeah, Azima wellness. Yes, wellness. Yeah, what is you see, wellness, mm -hmm. it's that state I had explained that uh, your body must be at a level that it is able to spur your activities. Mm -hmm. You must, your health is your health. Mm -hmm. So if you are not well, this is the, there's mental wellness. Yes. There's health wellness. Yes. Financial wellness. Yes. Again, when you're always broke. When you don't know how to read your money, yes, yes. you will become a wreck. 
Yes. How do I trust Ken <laughs> with my money in a venture capital? Yes. And you are very careless with money. <laughs> you walk around with your check checkbook. Yes. Company checkbook. Yes. There's no difference between the company money and the money and your own personal money. <laughs> you have got a credit card mm -hmm. that is charged on the company's account. Yes. That you go to Intercontinental Bank, you swap the card, mm -hmm. and that is company's money. Mm -hmm. No. I have to take you through yes. how you are going to separate yourself yes. from the business. Thank you. Thank you. Earn a salary and spend your salary. Yes. Not spending money that's from the company. Yes. No. <laughs> that's a very, very great lesson. And as we are coming to the end of the show, I would love us to tell us um, do you have a word to tell the entrepreneurs out there about Azim Avengers um, and uh, actually your contacts? Yes. Yes. Uh, I would want to tell it the viewers and the potential entrepreneurs because all of us are potential entrepreneurs. Yes. Come, let us do business together. Yes. There is a lot for us to do. Yes. And there is a lot of resources that comes in. Yes. From a, from a, the business activities. Yes. So what we need to do now? Yes. Is to encourage all of our people to come and face this challenge. Mm -hmm. In, if you go to the website. We have got a website called Azima Wellness Consultants. Okay. We consult on wellness. Yes. We train people how to start a business mm -hmm. and how to grow them. Mm -hmm. Our offices are on Harambe Avenue, mm -hmm. Kagen House, yes. Hand Flow. Mm -hmm. And when you go to our website, you see our contact, our email, our everything. telephone number, and everything. Yes. And we are always open and ready to engage. Yes. Because we want to create wealth for this country yes. and this continent. Yes. And we are ready to go. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, my friend. I'm really grateful that you came on the show today. God bless you. Thank you. That was a game changer, a capitalist, and a great leader, a mentor, and an entrepreneur mentor, not just a mentor. It was so great having him on the show today. Until next time, same hour, same TV station. God bless you.